Welcome aboard Free Dive with Seapoint Digital, your go-to podcast for deep dives into the world of digital marketing. I'm Christy. And I'm Anna Lynn. Your hosts navigating through the currents of growth, strategy, and innovation in the digital realm. We're going to talk. We're going to laugh. It's going to be a good time. Let's dive in. Welcome back to another episode of the Free Dive Podcast. We're back today with Anna. Hello. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here. I'm mostly excited because, okay, true confessions. Um, <laughs> Anna's like my biggest fan like, of the podcast. I am. You're like, you officially win biggest fan of the podcast. Yay. <laughs> like, always can Don't count on you me. to listen. <laughs> so who better to okay. be a guest? I literally sit when I, I have to, like, have time dedicated to listening to your podcast because I have a notebook and I make notes of things that I want to say in my comment okay. to you at the okay. end because I made the mistake of like thinking that I could make multiple comments and so I put like one half in once and then it was like oh, oh. no you've already commented on which platform on Spotify Spotify yeah oh. it was like oh you've already commented so you can't comment oh. again so now I'm like, okay, I'm, I've got notes now <laughs> so that I can remember all the things that I want to say let in Anna, my comment. Let Anna be an example to you all. <laughs> it's very cute that you do that. So, uh, yeah, so that's how I do my comments now is I like, oh, I like that point. Oh, I like that point. Okay, now I'll, I'll write my comment at the end. <laughs> oh, my God. May, all of, sh- may all, of, all of this be an example to you. I love it so much. Thank you. Well, we asked Anna to be here today because she's an account manager here at Seapoint. And um, I've had a lot of conversations with people lately where they're like, I don't know what an account manager is. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, and so it felt like a really good topic to have one of the best account managers I know explain to us what on earth that means. So um, where to even start with that? Um, <laughs> how long have you been doing account management? Just like kind of just ba- like for, like ballpark and, um, how many clients are you working with at this time? So I think I've been here with C point two and a half years. Okay. Yep. So that's about that how right. long I've been doing account management. Yep. Um, I manage, I think I'm at 38 clients oh, now. Word. <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> I'm hopefully handing one client over to Kevin. Okay, in the near one. Future, so I'll be down to 37. <laughs> no, it's it's not as bad as it sounds because uh, the majority of the clients that I manage are smaller, mm-hmm. and they maybe ask me to help them with something once, maybe twice a year. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's not a whole lot of day to day work with a lot of them. Um, but yeah, so the larger clients I have definitely are a daily, you know, com- daily communication <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So what does it mean to be an account manager for a client? That is a very good question. <laughs> I find it hard, a challenge even for myself to like, for example, to explain it to my mom. Like yeah. When I try to explain to my mom what I do, it's difficult because I feel like an account manager wears so many hats Mm -hmm. and you kind of just have to like do whatever comes up. Yeah. You know, like I'm, I'm there to communicate between the different teams here at Seapoint and the client. So like, you know, for example, one of my clients, they're, they're completely redesigning their entire look of their, they're building, we're building a new website for them. They're getting a, a whole new logo whole new branding guide, new colors, new fonts, everything. So I'm communicating with the creative team, the uh, graphic design team, Mm -hmm. you know, to come up with, you know, designs for them. And so that could be one part of it. And then another part of it is like, hey, we, we need to hook up this platform to this platform. Can you send me the code that the email sends you yeah know, like I don't know it could be like so many random things throughout the day yeah but it's hard to explain yeah <laughs> you know? no I get that and and you can correct me if this take is wrong but when I've tried to explain it to someone recently I basically just said um you're kind of like 
the person that is kind of the go-between for the client to all of their needs to make sure all of their needs get met. So you're the go-to person for the client whenever they need something to make sure whatever their needs are getting met. That's a very good explanation, and I'm going to steal it. Okay, perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> because, and that actually makes me think of like, yeah, that's exactly right. And that it's kind of like I'm a personal assistant yeah but for the client so like whatever they need like obviously I'm not going to pick up their dry cleaning because right. they're in another state right, right. but you know, yeah basically anything they need they I'm go the, to you they, they ask hey can C Point Digital do x y or z yeah let me look into that let me see what I can do and then we try to make it happen for them so and the purpose of that that I've come to learn over the years is it saves so much miscommunication because if the client every time they needed a video made had to come to me that would create so many communication issues because there's so much that goes into a client a, a video with mm -hmm. with copy and and what bill wants to be involved and like so it it's like a missed step you have to first collect all of the information you then make decisions on who needs to do what you have to co gather all this information it saves the step of them ever having to talk to me mm -hmm. which I often prefer <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's like it's I don't want to call you the middleman but it is a little yeah. bit like you're the middleman yeah I feel like the middleman which is it's not a bad term mm -hmm. I guess yeah. um and that's fine and I think it, it definitely makes it easier for the client in that sense too where they don't have to remember, oh, I need to email Christy for video. I need right. to email Vanessa for graphics. I need, you know, like they just have one person right. that handles everything. And then I do all the messaging. Hey, can you do this? Hey, can you do this? Yeah. Making sure that deadlines are, you know, hopefully met on time yeah. <laughs> as, yeah. as much as humanly possible. Organized chaos. I kind of become mm -hmm. the face of the company because they see me and talk to me and right. message with me, yeah. you know, on a weekly, sometimes daily basis. So, you know, yeah. I'm like the person that they become comfortable with mm -hmm. on the team because I'm the main person they communicate with. Yeah. So what kind of, like, I just think of you as a very, very good account manager because you just seem to have everything always in control. <laughs> and for that many clients, okay, you're good at keeping it in control. I am a panicker. Oh, and man. you are, do not appear to be a panicker. Oh, you should see me when I'm in my home office. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm here, I can that, hide it very that's well. That's where you save all the panicking. Yeah, I save all the panicking for when I'm at home mm. and I'm complaining to my husband about, why can't I do everything? <laughs> well but, um, that try. being said Thank you. I yeah. appreciate I appreciate that you think that <laughs> yeah what what do you think are good skills that you know fit because let me let me just back up and say I tried account management for a short period of time and I it was not for me even okay. though I find myself to be very much a type a personality and very, and you're or very organized, organized yeah. and a good communicator I still like don't I don't fit the roles of an account manager. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's too many moving pieces and mm. it's too many things to keep track of. And my brain just doesn't keep track of things that way. I also just find myself to be a creative type. Mm -hmm. So to you, what do you think makes a good account manager? What kind of skills? Yeah, I think you definitely need to be an organized person. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like, I feel like it's kind of, similar to maybe like a a concierge <laughs> service yep. at like a hotel or something like I'm not a waitress but I need to be personable with you and make you feel like you trust my recommendations yeah. that I know what I'm talking about yeah. and that if you go you follow my advice you feel confident that you're following my advice so it's kind of like that like you're you have to have the ability to instill trust in people that you're that you know what you're talking about, mm -hmm. even if sometimes you don't know. What right, you're it's about. fake. It's yeah. fake. It's <laughs> fake. It's so fake. It. But um, yeah. So definitely, you have to be able to be organized. I have to write everything down. Yes. Um, we use teamwork as a task manager yeah. for and. I have to put everything in there because if, if the task isn't there for me to see, I will forget about it because there's so many hundreds and hundreds of tasks mm -hmm. for all these different clients. Mm -hmm. So it's like if I don't have 
that's when things go awry. Yeah. <laughs> it's when yeah. I for either forget to make a task for myself or yeah. forget to make a task for somebody else. Yeah. Um, that that can make things not great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But. What do you think the difference is? This is something I've thought a lot about, and I don't know if you have an opinion on this. Is the difference between um, someone who does like strategy versus account management? So we have Mark on our team who does strategy, um, but he's not managing accounts. But at the same time, I think an account manager does have a level of strategy involved with helping their client. Do you find that there's a big difference for you there? Have you thought about that? Yeah, I have. The, and actually, I'm glad you mentioned Mark because he is like an excellent resource to go to. And I go to him often for strategy mm -hmm. purposes because he just has so much more experience than I do. So what I do have experience in, I feel confident about. But it's also nice to have that experience that you can pull from when I don't feel quite so confident. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I want to bring, you know, a good strategy to the client on whatever it is that they want to do mm -hmm. so um yeah I feel like those two are separate yet connected yeah. if that makes sense yeah like yeah stra the strategy part isn't necessarily my strong suit mm -hmm. um but the organization and the accomplishing of what they want I feel like I'm good at yeah we're fortunate to have such a good strategist on our yeah, team. like Very he's amazing. Yeah. I I utilize <laughs> Mark's brain mm -hmm. whenever I can because he's just amazing. Is there anything about like what are what are the things you really like or really don't like about account management? What do I really like? I really like the client meetings. So mm. um, not all of my clients, but a, a majority of them, we have monthly meetings mm -hmm. to discuss um, whatever. Um, analytics they want to review and data they want to review about how their business is going and how the if they have Google ads running how are the ads doing or are they getting um, good results from the ads or they're not seeing much of a difference or things like that but I, I like those meetings because you get to know them as humans yeah and they get to know me as a human right and that makes it so much easier when you have that like human to human relationship with your clients. They, you can understand each other better. You can understand each other's lives too that are this you know separate from work. Yeah. So that like there's also understanding too. Like, you know, if I say, you know, I, I'm working on that, but it'll be next week. Like. Mm -hmm. they know why right like I'm open with my clients about like what's going on in my life yeah and in you know our office lives too yeah. because yeah. I feel like that's important because if you don't have that good relationship and openness with your clients then they're just going to be like well she's just putting me off flaking off yeah, yeah. like she's just Not ignoring attention. me or yeah. you know why isn't she getting this done for me yeah you know, like I, I want them to know that I am working on it, but yeah. you're not my only client. Right. <laughs> and I have a whole other yeah. life. You and know, it establishes life too, trust and, too. Yeah. I feel like that. And that's my favorite part of account managing is like building those relationships with the, with mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. that are the clients. So that's fun. Like recently we went, um, when we, we went to, um, Boston mm -hmm. for an in-person client meeting. Yeah. I felt I was so excited because I felt like I was going to visit my friends yeah. in Boston, not yeah. like, oh, we're going for a work meeting. Right, right, right. You know, like it was something we were excited and happy to see them. And yep. I ended up just hugging them. Hugging because, most of them. Yeah, yeah. because you yep. just you establish these relationships with people. And it makes those meetings like way more comfortable. So much more comfortable yeah. and fun. Yep. Like you can have actual fun while you're doing your job, which yep. is nice. Yeah. Um, as far as things I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. The I think a big challenge has been in the past when I've had a client that was a, an aggressive personality. Mm. And um let's just say they were straight up rude. Yeah. You know, they were yeah. a rude person and it's hard to be kind and be patient and yeah. you know, be polite 
when people are screaming at you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, that was definitely a challenge, but that's also a huge reason why I think Sea Point is so successful is Bill doesn't force us to work with people that are yep. terrible. Yep. <laughs> you know? Yep. So, I mean, sometimes you just, you, you know, client company vibe, it just doesn't vibe. And, right. And he gets that and he's not going to like make us deal with people who are incredibly hard to deal with. Yeah. That you can't have successful yeah, relationship that way. Yeah. It's just, it's just not working. Yeah. So, you know, I, that was hard, but I don't have that client yep. anymore. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I can't really think of anything that's like, oh my God, the drudgery of account management. You know, like I, mm-hmm. I like, I enjoy what I do. Yep. Do you have any advice for? anyone that is new to account management or would be considering a job in account management, like what you wish you had known? But I, th- I think if I was going to give advice to someone, if you're not a people person, don't do this job mm. because you, you know, you're with the people, like your clients are your people. And that's, there's a lot of communication. You need to be a good communicator, a people person, um, an organized person, and yeah, I think as long as you have those skills, you'll do fine because a, so, lo- a huge part of it is being able to have that relationship with your client. So would you say extroverted or just? I I don't necessarily think you have to be an extrovert because I don't consider myself an extrovert. Okay. I consider myself to be an introvert, okay. but I think I'm an extroverted introvert. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I can, I can be with people all day but then at the end of the day I want to be by myself right right. and that's when I recharge so Mm -hmm. it's not plus it's helpful that I get to work from home most of the time Mm -hmm. and that's like my happy place yeah so yeah it's good for me yeah um I love working from home working remotely Mm -hmm. but yeah I think I think as long as you have the ability to communicate well Mm -hmm. you can write a good email you know, that you're conscious of how your words might come across written out. Yeah. You know, because it's different than a telephone conversation. Right. Most of the communication for an account manager is via email mm-hmm. or instant message or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I'm not having a lot of phone calls. I mean, I do from time to time, but it's not super often. Yeah. So I think, like, if you can put together email communication well Mm -hmm. then you'll you'll do great because it's you can give off certain vibes with how you write things Mm -hmm. that would make it like seem negative even though you don't mean it to be negative but yeah when someone's reading it they're like is she being snarky (laughs) you know like you know so I always kind of like try to reread everything before I send it and just be like okay does that sound friendly and nice and Mm -hmm. not arbitrary or whatever yeah and so that's making me think like if do you have have you learned or do you have any advice on like you know you have had controversy with clients like dealing how to deal with that you have to stay professional and yet you're still a person and don't want to be treated like trash so how how do you get through that how would a person get through that kind of controversy um I would recommend saving every single email oh that's a great advice I I was actually because uh, one of our newest account managers Kevin he, that might be taking one over one of my clients that's the first thing I told him I was like what I do is in my inbox I have labels for each client oh so I have 38 labels wow and I put when I'm done with an email conversation like that task is completed or I've answered their question or whatever, I take that email and I put it in the folder what a great idea. for that client. And I keep it forever because it, it has saved my butt quite a few times mm. where um, like that arbitrary client would say, you know, well, you never did this or you, I asked you to do this and you never did. And I can be like, mm, this email says that I did, you know, <laughs> so Please I, review. Yes. <laughs> Please see my email from three months ago. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yep. that definitely helps. Yeah. Because it, it covers your butt for sure. Yeah. 
Wow, that's, yeah, that's a great example. Any other organization tips like that that have helped you? Hmm. How do, I, my brain would get so cloud or cloudy and cluttered with that many clients and who am I forgetting about and meetings and, but that doesn't get to you. Um, I think I have it figured, I mean, in the beginning, yes, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. I think now that I have it kind of like, down for myself and that's the other thing too like when I was training Kevin I'm like this is how I do it yeah but do it how it makes sense to your brain right you know like everybody learns differently and works differently so like I feel like making it a cookie cutter like you do this and then you do this and then you do this isn't gonna work because everybody has a different style yeah so I've got I've gotten my style down mm -hmm. And I think that's a big part of it, too, when you're first starting out, is just finding what organizational style works for you and roll with it. Mm -hmm. What about when it comes to connecting, like, with the team? You have to go to the gra graphics. You have to go to creative team for stuff. Like, how are you able to, like, get them to come back on time with stuff? Is that, like... Yeah, I, I can think of one person right off the bat that is probably sick of me <laughs> giving, <laughs> giving them tasks. Like, like, I get it. You have stuff that you need me to do. <laughs> like, um, I feel like that's another big relationship part. Yeah. Is, you know, I w like these people. I like my coworkers, but we also have deadlines for stuff too. So it's it's a it's a balancing act of like, hey, I need this, please, but not being a jerk about it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think the being a good communicator yeah. is key in that aspect of it, too, because, yeah. um, you know, no one wants to be like, where are my graphics or where's my ad? Or, yeah, you know, like, you know, it's not you an don't effective wanna, way to get what you want. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to be a jerk about it, but. You also need what you need to get back to your client on time. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's just, I feel like just being a generally kind, polite person as much as possible is helpful. Occasional reminders. Yeah. I'm just like, hey, okay, so this is something I do often. Um, I will take a task link, mm -hmm. send it in the chat to the person and be like, hey, what's the status of this task? Perfect. Yeah. Because then it's like, oh, it's kind of on your radar like mm -hmm. that I need it but I don't know where you're at with it mm -hmm. but it's not accusatory either right like why isn't this done yet it's just hey what's up with this is, yep. is are you still working on it what's the status yep so I do that often um or I'll just be like hey friendly reminder that <laughs> you know this please x y or z is coming please up please do this and then sometimes <laughs> I'm a total bonehead and I thought I did something and I didn't like for example yesterday um a blog was like overdue in a task list and I messaged Kiara and I'm like, Hey, where's, uh, what's up with this blog? It's not up yet. And she's like, well, I never got approval for it. And I'm like, but I didn't have it in my email oh. still. So I had, what I had done is I had taken the email and put it in its little folder like I do, but it wasn't done yet. Oops. So I'm like, Oh, that was my bad. Yeah. So I just reminded the client, hey, is this approved for publishing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So no big deal. Yeah. But, you know, and that's the thing, too. Like, you have to be a good apologizer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to be willing to be humble. Be humble and yeah. be, oh, I'm so sorry. That was my mistake. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I, no, bi no biggie. That was my bad. Yeah. So. Well, you sound yeah. like you have it down. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> we were impressed from over here. Oh, yay. So. Well, thank you. <laughs> I yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. We're already out of time, but I really appreciate just getting a glimpse into your Yeah, into thank your you. Account Very world. insightful questions. Thank yeah. you for having me on the podcast. Yeah. I I enjoy the podcast because even, even though, like, I work in marketing, it's, you know, there's so many different yes. moving pieces and moving parts that yeah. – I get to learn new things too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, yeah. a, a deep dive into their job is right. It's cool. So yeah. people like now it. get to learn yours. <laughs> Come back again. I will. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Christy. Thanks for listening. We'll see you guys next time. It's the end. No, it's not. There's more. There's always more. Don't be sad. You can catch our full video interviews on our YouTube channel. Come find us.
And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends so that we're not sad. And follow us on TikTok. And Instagram. It'll make your day happier, promise. And we'll know if you do it. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>